Imagine this, your landlord says you have to move out of your home by a certain date, but won't let you out of your lease before then. Neighbors in Virginia Beach say it is very real for them, and that's why they're upset tonight. Ten of your size, Liz Palka, spoke to residents of Mayfair Muse. So how did this evolve, Liz? Well, Tom and Anita, Mayfair Muse is set to be demolished and redeveloped at some point in the near future. Those I've spoken to said they don't want to leave, and the terms of the lease are only making the situation worse. Four years after an F-18 crashed into Mayfair Muse. And I've been through a lot. I lost my townhouse on the other side of here and still came back. Residents now have to leave for good. I'm just devastated. I never... They never ever expected this to happen. They're oh, gathering right. to discuss their options but. after finding this letter tied to their doorknob three weeks ago. And it's an ethical situation. It's it doesn't feel right to us, right? It no. doesn't. The letter from Covington and Associates, the developer and management company, says residents must be out by July 31st. Covington says it's giving people three months to make plans for alternative living arrangements. So Tracy Shaw went ahead and found a new place. I was excited to go ahead and move out. Out. I sent them saying I wanted to move out and they sent me saying no you have to finish out until the day before we cut off the water. Shaw heard back that she couldn't get out of her lease early despite the demolition. Joni Coleman on the other hand doesn't want to leave after living at the Birdneck Road complex for 18 years. Her lease was supposed to go until next March. She's on a fixed income and she feels Covington needs to help after ending her lease. To pay for my moving. Residents are concerned plus they need security deposits back to help with the move. But Covington says they could take 30 days to be returned and that's after an inspection. What is their inspect? You're demolishing these but yet you want to hold on to my security deposit and then what and then after 30 days I'm going to wait for it in the mail and it might not come. Covington and Associates hasn't returned our call for comment. I also spoke with a local attorney about what residents could do. He pointed out the Virginia Residential Landlord and Tenant Act. That could give residents a leg to stand on if they choose to settle this in court. I'm Liz Pelka, 10 on your side.